Welcome to Mastering Solutions, where we're taking the stress out of your science classes. So I've drawn here kind of a diagram of the picture that they're asking us to draw, a particle model velocity vector picture thing of what's going on. So here we have the three balconies. So this is the first floor, second, and the third floor balcony. And then of course they say that your roommate drops a tennis ball from up here on the top of the third floor. And then it comes down, so we'll say it starts here, and then it comes down and then it bounces. And then they show, they're just trying to make it more organized looking. So they're saying that this and this are the same point, just so we don't get confused. And then it bounces and then it comes up and it stops at the second story. And then of course it's gonna keep bouncing after that. So of course, if we're looking at the ball's velocity as we drop it, it's gonna start off pretty slow. It's gonna be just a short little arrow indicating that it just went a little bit. But of course, as we know, with gravity, it's gonna pick up speed and then it's gonna get faster and it's going to get faster until it finally bounces right here on the bottom. And then it's gonna change direction, but it's still going to be going the same uh, pretty quick speed here as it bounces. And then as it goes up, it's going to slow, and then it's going to slow and stop here on the second level. So this is the diagram that we're looking for that shows that your friend dropped the ball right on the, off the top of the third floor balcony. And then it picks up speed as it comes down, bounces, changes direction, goes up and it slows, and then it stops. And then if we continued, it would start to go down again and pick up speed and then continue just like that. But of course, all they want is just those first two velocity diagrams right there.